Okay, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you so, so much. Just so that you watching this video is not an accident. Like, God is very, very intentional. There's no one that says you with your own little mind. You know how to do things with a reason. Talk more of this our God. So you're watching this video is by a mistake. My name is Arias Aouzo and I'm here to share for that God with you every single day. And I know that as long as you continue to dive in to learn of your father, we will definitely overcome. So let's dive in. So then we're going to share the book of Samon Osteen, verse 24, which says, Yeah, they despise the pleasant land. Yeah, they believe not his word. Hmm. But murmured in their tents. What are you murmuring about? And aching not unto the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So it says, Therefore he lifted up his hand against them to overthrow them in the wilderness. If you choose not to believe the Lord, what will you really do? He will lead you to your own faith. And the Bible says you should believe. When you believe, there is nothing impossible that God cannot do. So your belief and your faith is the one that will take you there. Hallelujah. Verse 27 says, To overthrow their seed also among the nation and to scatter them in, their la in the land. Hallelujah. Let us just pray. Heavenly Father, we believe you, Lord. We believe your word. Every single jot of your word. You said everything will come to pass. Even if the heaven and earth fade away. None of your word will go back to you. Nor and void. And Father, we have come to believe your word. Because you know you do not want nothing left for us. But to take us to that pleasant light, land. To take us to that pleasant place. Because your thoughts towards us are always good and not evil. Father, to endeavor and to, and to strive to believe your word every single day of our life, Lord. Father, help us. Help us to come out triumphantly in Jesus' name. God bless you so, so much for always watching, for always staying tuned, for giving hope. No matter the tower you might find yourself, there is always hope. There is always light at the end of every dark, dark place. There is always hope for us in Christ Jesus. Christ is not the hope of our glory. So do not give us, do not murmur, do not uh, disbelieve whatever your father is saying to you. He said he's your shepherd and you shall not want. Therefore, you will not want. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Share, subscribe. Let the word of God go out there through you. God bless you.